everybody hello welcome to my channel Renzo here okay let's paint today I want to show you something okay can you see this <laughs> that's a gift from one of my patrons from Mary Chester thank you so much okay let's paint Okay, I have the images here. I'm gonna combine these two pictures. You see this one and this. Uh, what's the name of this? The thing is. Uh, I don't remember the name of this fish. But anyway, let's see what, what we can get from this. Hello, Michael. Hello, Sharon. <coughs> Okay, I'm gonna sketch a little bit. I'm gonna use white charcoal. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to place the head here, the hands here, and the fish around here. At the end, I'm going to uh, erase. I mean, take out all the colors and complete the painting all to the edge, to the contour. Okay. Okay, let's see. I have I'm gonna sp I'm gonna split this in three portions, from the hairline to the eyebrow to the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin. First, I'm going to draw the forehead, lobella, the nose, the base of the nose. Let's see how tilted it is like that. The mouth, like a triangle here. Now, let's draw the fingers. Okay. Now, let's see the position of the eye. Mm. The side of the nose, so here. I represent the eye as a triangle too. Well, much better for me just to simplify everything. I usually I use squares, triangles, anything, anything that's it's pretty simple to copy. <coughs> hello Naima, hello Christine, hello Said. the overall shape here and that's okay for the face a little bit of the hair you see the fingers one two three one finger two fingers three fingers the fish Wait one second okay let's draw the fish here um, the head let's see how tilted is this like this and um, this here uh, I found another another image I want to show it here for the color this one Can you see this one here it has more beautiful colors I love the fish on the left and but I love the colors of this one I'm gonna try to make a combination of both okay let's see size of the face, the hand, the fish. Yeah. <coughs> okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna move the fish a little bit to the right. Uh, here's gonna be my space for mixing the colors. Uh, well, maybe it's okay there. Let me see. Let me see here. Okay, first I'm gonna paint the background and then the face and the fish. Okay, hello Dita. Okay, let's see. I'm just stepping back a little bit, thinking, you know, maybe I, may, I should paint the fish a little bit bigger. Okay. I guess I'm gonna paint it. Let's see if I change something. Let's see, I'm gonna mix just white, black. I want a neutral color. Coming yellow and coming red. I think this color is gonna be okay. Yeah, I want I want something simple since the fish is blue, the face is orange. I think this neutral kind of let's say warm gray color is gonna work okay. I'm not so sure yet, maybe, it depends, I, I gotta see the whole painting, I mean, the, all the colors in order to see if I gotta change something. And at the same time, I would like to do something more, you know, uh, maybe add something here maybe i don't have an idea yet but maybe breaking up the the hand in some new pieces or just fade the hand with the background or i don't know uh i don't have any clear idea yet i just want to use this let's say two elements first and then from here think about it, making any change. This is ivory black and titanium white and adding just orange, red and yellow. using any medium When I paint, uh, let's say, my, uh, how can you say, personal artworks, I love to add something. Tr I'm trying to be kind of creative. I mean, there's not too much about crea cre being creative here because I'm just placing two elements. That's kind of more like a collage. But from here, uh, I just expect to come out with something. Sometimes I uh obviously i got an idea at the pre-beginning sometimes at the end sometimes the next day 
and it, it takes a lot of uh, time just to get an idea about adding something or taking out something or break up anything on, on the on the on the painting. Anyway, I'm gonna try. I remember uh, there is some series of, of exercises to do to try to be creative, and when when you study painting and you go for a really classical classical approach, like a traditional painting approach. It's gonna be really difficult to try to, I don't know, come out with something so realistic, with fantasy. Okay, and when I, st I studied art, it was, it was, uh, I remember it was five years. Four years, it was about just traditional formation. You know, drawing good, drawing well, trying to draw proportion the respect the proportions so all of that and the last year it was about just creativity okay and then it's kind of building up something for four years and trying to knock down everything the last year it's kind of really difficult and I, I gotta say that I'm struggling with that all the time but every time I try, I try to come out with something. And the more difficult part, I think, about about trying to be creative is just tell a story because I think it's so important just to tell a story when when somebody is trying to paint anything, and that's really difficult. Let's see, let me see the, uh, I'm gonna change my brush. I'm gonna use a different brush for the hair because it's darker. Okay, I'm gonna use this bristle brush. Oh, hello, Javier, hello, Tuja. Nanda is asking me, what are you painting on, please? It looks smooth. Canvas. It's just canvas. I prepare my own canvases. Okay, just uh, with uh, gesso. Three layers of gesso. Just that. I apply the gesso with a ruler, plastic ruler. Okay, and this way I, I don't need to sand between layers. Otherwise, I would apply a layer with a brush and then re dry and then sand that layer to apply the next layer. But when I play with a ruler, I don't need to sand the, the canvas. Three layers or sometimes four layers, it depends on, on your canvas, depends on the tooth of the canvas. In this case, uh, I don't know if you can see the, the tooth of the canvas. This is really, it's a thick uh, fabric. It's cotton. You know, here in Peru, where I live, where I'm from, everything is cotton. the brush I'm gonna mix I just a basic skin color which is gonna be orange which I'm going to knock down with just white and blue 
I want a really a kind of grey down orangey, but a little bit darker. I think this is gonna be okay. Yeah, I'm making this dark because I'm planning obviously to add light on top of this color. If I make it lighter, obviously my plan would be adding shadows, but I prefer this color and add of the light that I see here in this area. See a little bit of my drawing, okay? Here, <laughs> not too much, but I see something there. I have ultramarine blue here, and I have cobalt blue. Cobalt blue. I'm gonna put some cobalt blue. I'm gonna use more cobalt blue than ultramarine blue. But let's see. Yeah, just write my code being creative is very difficult. But I'm gonna try just to I'm gonna try just to have fun painting. Hello Jonas. Hello Swap Neil. Have you asking me the last layer don't send it? I don't send any layer when I prepare the canvas. Because I prepare the canvases with a ruler, a plastic ruler. It's something flat and I don't have any one here. In here, but imagine that, for example, that you use this. I want to show you this. This is a, a valley scale. Okay, you put the gesso and you just spread the gesso, spread out the gesso all over the canvas. And when we do, you do that, you don't need to sand between the ears. But when you use a brush, a big brush, a kind of three inches brush, the, I need to to sand. this darker a little bit darker okay just light here in the middle everything dark here everything dark here okay. uh, remember I have another image I'm gonna show it here okay this one I got this one because I want to add some okay I have to open it up this one on my screen okay I want to add some reds. No, there are some reds here. I love the 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 shape of this fish, but I love the colors on the the little one here. Hello Mary. Okay. Let's see the shape. It's kind of really it has kind of really small body and the tail is really big. Okay, uh, I'm gonna just just black. I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. I'm using this brown I have here that I I, I mixed this one for the hair. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna draw a little bit of the face to see more. Okay, okay. 
forehead uh, this is the what's the name of this globella I think this area here no let's see the eye okay I'm gonna move it I'm changing the size every time that we paint a face we have to consider always proportions okay obviously we are and copying the photograph but at the same time I always thinking about proportions I was thinking about these measurements okay, it's just like I trust my eyes but not that much you always have to measure or keep measuring all the time Basically, I'm mixing just camion yellow with camion red and white. It's just a light orange. A little bit of this color to knock down this orange. Let's put some lights here. Okay, I, I see light here because of the zygomatic bone, the cheekbone. light on the frontal plane of the nose, light on the forehead okay, let me see if this color is ok, uh, I think it's ok a brush for blending usually my brushes for blending all of them are just round brushes a little bit of the face yep that's okay maybe we can add another fish here Hello Manuel, hello Monique, hello Makeup Queen, thank you. this darker darker skin color blue uh, since obviously the fish is darker I can make this lighter around here around the fish a little bit lighter Okay, let's 
sini. Uh, I, um, I have a blue fish. Okay, the background it could be like what well, we call an analogous color. That, that means that something related to blue, or it could be a complementary color. Some color that is more close to orange, and you know it's, it doesn't have to be orange. Even this gray down color it has some orange because I, I started mixing this color with white and black, and I added yellow and, and red. That's orange. Okay. Now we can tell that this is a really gray down brown, which brown is a dark orange. I mean, not all the browns, but okay. And that means that this color could work really good with the blue. What about the face? Yeah, that would be here a kind of a, let's say complementary color and analogous color with the face. And what about if I want contrast on the face? Like on the photograph, in the photograph you see something black on the background of the photograph. And that obviously show really good the profile. But in my painting, I wouldn't be able to do that unless, okay, I copy that from, you know, and make this darker. I, I, you know, I love that to show the profile. Okay, and okay, yeah, I think it could work. Okay, or maybe I can make just everything in this area a little bit darker, and the light could be down here in this area below the fish. Okay. Now let's paint the hand. I'm going to add some light. Light here for this finger. Light for this finger. Light here. finger is just touching the nose, mouth, okay, okay. Mm. What about the color on the hand? I'm gonna add a little bit of green. And definitely I have to do something here, maybe like I said, break down the hand, just fade the hand in with this area. I don't know, something. I need, I need orange. I need that kind of orange in the palette. Hello Maji, hello Naima, Bose. oh okay Naima is asking me in French, I think that if I'm using some kind of medium, uh, no I'm using, no no medium, I'm not using any medium, Monique is saying that's yellow, okay wrong, no no this is cadmium yellow, cadmium yellow hue, cadmium orange hue, I'm gonna continue working on the, let's say, the realistic part of the painting, the hand, the face, the fish. At the same time, I, I keep thinking to do something more. I'm thinking maybe just fade the hand in this area, 
or maybe just break the hand in pieces. Uh, I don't I have a clear idea. Uh, usually the best option always is just spend a few hours making sketches and sketches every time that you're trying to uh, create something something you no know? in my case I just making this kind of an exercise and I uh, just wanted to share with you uh, no the things that I, uh, what we can just face and Let's see. And sometimes, sometimes I I uh, just let's say I spend some time sketching, sketching, and I don't get anything, anything. I mean, I I know that I'm not a, a very creative guy. I'm not a very creative painter. I gotta I gotta accept that. But I love I love surrealism. I love just when I see something really I don't know an idea, on a painting, a story. It's just amazed me every time. And every time I try to get that, okay. And well, I know, I mean, you know, I'm old enough to know my limitations. Anyway, uh, so I try. I uh, usually I sketch a lot, even to come out with something as simple as this. I sketch, okay. I make a sketch. I look for uh, images. I use I use Photoshop to make a sketch. You know, I sketch on paper and uh, at the same time in Photoshop because it's easier in Photoshop to see something. And and uh, I start thinking about breaking up everything or just anything. For example, you know, th there is some crazy ideas, but not all of them are going to work. For example, here on this fish, I can just make arms with a little hand. You know, what about? a hand with a rose <laughs> okay you gotta go crazy with ideas anything even if maybe it's you you come out with something ridiculous it doesn't matter you know but definitely any idea is gonna change the mood of the painting definitely and sometimes I just love uh, some something that is so peaceful peaceful let's say with nothing and I keep just the mood that is about just color, color harmony, about a focal point, about uh, creating some atmosphere, and not too much about the idea. But sometimes I wanna go that crazy with ideas, like this simple thing, you know. Right now I'm thinking about an arm here, with a hand. I gotta just let this kind of grow in my mind. If after just, I don't know, maybe the next 10 minutes I keep thinking about this and I say, hey, what a ridiculous thing, I'm not going gonna, gonna to make it. And what about putting a, a human face to this fish here? You know, a mask, oh, it could be a mask of a human face. Oh, wow, I, li I like that, that idea. It's a, fi it's a fish, but here it has a mask of a human face okay okay and we can see the eye of the fish here and a mask on the profile here okay i like it i like it i like that okay mm. Okay, that's one thing that maybe I'm gonna keep it. A mask, like a mannequin mask, here. <laughs> and this is something common, you know. You come out with an idea, and uh, that happened to me so many times. I say, oh my God, I'm gonna do this. And after a few minutes, I say, no. And I continue painting, and to the point that maybe I'm not gonna get anything, just there. I paint for four, five, six hours and I don't get anything and sometimes I, I got something and I use it let's see what helps me is to obvi obviously uh, watching more paintings 
creative paintings. So that's kind of gift is I'm gonna give you some ideas. Okay, and I uh, remember I love uh, I love to s to watch musical videos just to the same. Sometimes uh, a play on a you know on a theater because of the lighting, all of that, and obviously uh, you're gonna get more if, if you read you read the story maybe that's the that's one thing that we should do more often. i mean in my case i should read more often in order to get more ideas okay but anyway you gotta just do what you is you're able to do read watch videos watch more paintings anything The idea of the mask, I liked. What about the hand? Uh, I love this and I love this. Uh, I gotta do something with the hand. I don't know yet what, but I'm gonna. I, 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 I just. Um, I feel that I shouldn't keep something pretty realistic of the hand. The face is gonna be okay, that's gonna be realistic. But not the hand. Right now I'm just kind of painting without even thinking about painting. It's just like an, an I am in autopilot, let's say, and thinking about trying to copy, obviously, and thinking about the mask, thinking about doing something with the hand. I don't even know what, what, but. Draw a little face, the mask, some mask here, a profile. But let me see the, the fishes like this. Okay, the mask should be here. I just, I like the idea, but I need to see it. If to see if for for real, this I'm gonna like it or not. Michael is telling me you put the smallest fish swimming around the back of the hand. Okay, yeah, yeah. And uh, the other fish that I have there could be here, yeah? Or here. Yeah, yeah that's here and the tail over here. Yeah. Or I can reverse the image. Yeah, yeah. And go in the other direction. Or uh, maybe, that would, that's, maybe that's gonna be too much to paint. Let me see if I can reverse the image. Yep. Yes. Okay. Now, I gotta paint it, you know, so many things that we have to do it in order to see if that's gonna work or not. That's why I say it's better to do it, uh, sketch about that and 
sketch, use Photoshop or anything instead of doing that on the painting. But for me, sometimes when that I cannot get with any idea on paper or on Photoshop, I have to do it this way. Uh, you know, uh, let's just spend more time, retouch and retouch. At the end, I did it dry and I retouch again. Okay, let me see. Uh, this is the hand, and here's gonna be, uh, let's say, the head of the other fish. This one here. in the tail let's put an eye to this fish to see this one clearly What do you think? <laughs> I don't like the idea. Yeah, I think it's too much. It looks like she's grabbing the, the fish. I don't like the idea. Anyway, I'm gonna keep it there. Let's see what happened. Yeah, I can end up with too many fishes. Maybe I'm gonna distract the attention from this. I love the mask, but this one, maybe it's too big. Mm. Okay, maybe I'm gonna erase this. I can put something more here, or make it this just here in the distance. Uh, no fish at all, because maybe this is just enough. Yeah. Okay, okay, what is this? Okay, thinking about focal point, focal point, this is white, I'm gonna love to add a touch of pure white here, but that's gonna be too distracting. I can put a mask on this fish too, maybe to kind of complete kind of the story of these fishes with mask, trying to speak to humans, I don't know, okay, or anything, yeah, yeah, it could, it could work, that could work. A mask on this on the, this fish. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna continue working here. No. I'm gonna pause. Let's say the thinking about fish, no fish, or whatever. I, I gotta concentrate on the face, and if I wanna create a realistic face, yeah, that's that's different. You know, I said that I was working on autopilot when I was painting the fish which is different but for a face I gotta put my my attention here and obviously that implies that I'm not gonna be thinking about anything about the, the idea about the painting that's going to be a realistic face and adding some reds on the areas that we all know that there is always some red on the face Mm. Mm. I'm not thinking about anything, just uh, squinting down my eyes, stepping back. Uh. Okay. Right here, in the face. Oh, 
who can paint the hair with some kind of movement like she's under the water okay or she's not under the water and the fishes are out on the air flying <laughs> Mary saying one fish two fish red fish blue fish <laughs> face a little bit okay just not to think about anything for a moment think about the face I'm gonna pick up just pure black with a touch of alizarin crimson and let's paint Now when I paint a portrait, usually you know the same thinking about uh, having the value scale to be able to get the volume on the face, thinking about the colors, knock down some colors to make some areas to reset. It's not going to be always the same. Uh, for example, for the forehead, we need to knock down the color here. A little bit, okay. And, uh, speaking about subtleties, and the color here is going to be lighter and a little bit colorful. I gotta say that's not the only way, but but it should be a difference between this and this to make this create the illusion that is turning, okay. And you gotta think about that all over the face. to paint some sketches like this the, this size and if I like a sketch uh, then I would paint a bigger painting if I don't like the sketch I just keep it there I have sold some of the sketches <laughs> And I never did a, a bigger painting. Okay, I need to mix a little bit of pink. Knockdown green, obviously, is not speaking about pure green. In this area, 
bit of light. back okay we're gonna add more contrast mm. I start thinking about that after I add this really really dark eyelashes okay I can do something uh, obviously make everything oh, you can see that everything in this is darker make dark around here not too dark here not too dark here okay yeah. but definitely this area is going to be a dark darker than this area here mm. okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Mm. okay let's make this first a little bit darker of paint a bit kind of cleaning this area with the uh, this bristle brush second I need to adjust my camera a little bit just to see if everything is okay have to move because sometimes it doesn't the, the camera doesn't show the real color okay I think that's better the, I was cleaning out this area uh, because I want to go darker faster and don't put more and more paint and end up with a lot of paint there and not a darker color I'm using just pure black okay uh, we can just brown I just using pure black because I want to just go darker here okay I don't care that much if maybe I'm gonna knock down or kill down the color in this area too much you know this uh, is a painting that maybe I'm gonna spend three hours here but definitely I'm gonna put like maybe eight hours and I'm gonna go with more colors right now adding just pure black is for me just to establish the value okay uh, I want to see if this dark area is working okay because if you have something really black definitely is gonna drive the attention and that's perfect because the face is let's say one of the focal points the face and the fish okay that means that if i have this black here maybe i'm gonna i'm going to have some really dark black or dark blue on this fish but not just here and here not here not around here not on this fish 
I'm going to control the value for this fish. Okay. <coughs> okay, let's see. Okay, let's continue working a little bit on details on the face. And the hair too. Just like cover, uh, uh, it's like vi violet, purple, cover, purple, something like that. It's just a dark purple. Sorry, I mean, I'm gonna try to read the name, okay? Just, the name. just give me a second. At least are in purple. Yeah, I think that's what it says. This is an old tube. Uh, no, dioxidan, dioxinine, uh, okay, who cares, it's a dark purple. Okay, I don't like that purple there. Yeah. I'm gonna add more burnt amber to knock down the purple. Okay, that's better. Yeah, that's better. I see a little bit of the purple, not but not that much. Have light here. Obviously, when you have, uh, I'm not gonna add something. I'm not gonna make any light around here as bright as this one. That's my first plan. Okay. Focal point. Focal point is for everything. If I spread the light from here to here to here to here to here here, uh, there is it's gonna be more difficult to read. No, a, a, a painting, a photograph is just like reading a page of a book. It gotta be is easy. It gotta be just the the eye. For me, that's my opinion. You know, the eyes should flow on the surface. But when we don't respect focal points, we add highlight here, highlight here. 
everywhere and our eyes doesn't know where to go where to see it's just like reading a, a page that where the, the, the letters are bigger, smaller, all the sizes that is kind of difficult to, to follow all of them. But that's what my opinion okay. Yes, an opinion. I'm gonna use a little bit of this purple white a little bit more wow that was too much okay, I just want to pull down this color a little bit it's not like everything is going to be cool no it's just just a little bit uh, my idea is just to have a transparent shadow here by adding this cool purple light cool purple I added some green here I'm planning to add more it's not like this purple is going to just be everywhere. No, no, I just some just some touches to create some transparency. But definitely, we need some green on the hands. Okay. Now, how I show the hands because if the hands are lighter and the background is lighter. Mm, uh, I'm gonna change what I thought from the very beginning okay. and I think it's pretty important to show the whole profile Planning to make the background darker. Yeah. Let's see. I'm doing this because I'm I'm not planning to add add more more and more paint to make something darker. I just want to go dark faster. Okay. That's why I'm taking out the paint. And I'm gonna put more paint. Okay, that's normal for me. That's okay for me. Hey, uh, it's just like when you draw and something is wrong, what you do? You erase. Yep, I'm doing that. I'm erasing. Elba is asking me, Dioxacin, deep violet. Yeah, thank you, Monique. That's the, the word. It was asking me this painting and commission you creating from your creative mind. If so, why fish and mask? Yeah, yeah just a painting for my creative mind. <laughs> that sounds really good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is the kind of paintings that, you know, I used to paint and I keep them. And then uh, I have uh, some, not like, no, some few people that I know that loved paintings, buy paintings, especially specifically I just I gotta say that just I have two clients. I have one guy, uh he lives here in Peru and he he kind of he bought me maybe I don't to be honest I feel kind of guilty but he had bought me maybe more than one hundred paintings and Every time is uh, uh, he loves to buy art. He has a huge collection here in Peru, and and uh, I mean we didn't became friends, nothing like that. But I used to visit his office just like a 
lot of, a lot of times. You know, he, he's so it's so funny how people love art, and it's amazing. I mean, for me as an artist, every time when I have seen, I have gone to his office. Sometimes, I'm speaking before the pandemic, you know, and he was kind of. Um, I was there, just showing there, and just like say my name. They were like uh, some people there, you know, trying to get some from some companies, I, I don't know, big companies, and they were like, "Oh, we're gonna, we have a trying to get an appointment for with him, you know, to sign some contracts or something like that." And they were like, "Hey, yeah, yeah, he had time." making a schedule, making an appointment for the next month and then another guy for the next two weeks next month, next two weeks, two weeks because he was so busy and and for me it was about just to call him and say hey I, got a pa I have a painting and I don't have any money I want to sell this <laughs> and for him it was oh, hey how much hey let's speak about the price this and that yeah yeah come to the office yeah, I went there, just like that. And as I, a couple of times, I have uh, find some of my friends, painters, a couple of them just there, waiting to get into the office. You know, uh, and his secretary, one of the secretaries once told me, uh, this Mr. X, I don't know, I'm not gonna say his name, you know, he is kind of difficult to make an appointment with him because everybody has to wait. But when it's about art, you know, we see artists here just coming just like that and getting inside his office. Okay, let's make this darker. I think it's going to be a good option, a good decision because I'm going to be the mask more clearly. I want to see the mask more clearly and the fish since I have light here it's going to be better to make this darker I hope so like it is I can see it more clearly the profile but let's go over here I have to okay, here's the fish I mean I'm speaking about the image here on my computer I was looking for the fish I can make this as a mask or I can paint this as a real human face maybe it's gonna be better to make a tiny real human face here next 20 minutes I'm going to erase this little mask and change my mind
And this guy, he used to buy me, he bought me a lot of paintings that I haven't shown anywhere in Facebook or anywhere because uh, they, uh, I have paintings on, let's say, a, w a, a woman here, a nude, and arti artistic nude, yeah, but you know that. Facebook, I, I have posted maybe once, twice, and they blocked me. They have blocked me like three times, four times, all the time. Every time I posted a painting, it was like, okay, you're violating some rule or something. And I stopped, just yeah, stop. I think just pure cover. Okay. Let's make this less complicated and I'm gonna paint this lower portion of the fish. step back and see if this is dark enough no it's not dark enough uh, secret is out <laughs> uh, thank you T Tala maybe say maybe your customer would help sponsor an art colony near Machu Picchu. Yeah, that's a great idea. You know, yeah. I was thinking about that um, yesterday. I was thinking to go to Machu Picchu to rent a big house there and make a studio. Yeah, I, I have a friend. Well, it's not like a close friend, but I have a friend he had a studio in Cusco. Cusco is the city where it's Machu Picchu. Yeah, but it's not Machu Picchu is kind of I think it's an hour from the city from Cusco. Somebody got you gotta go by train, go really high, really high, up to the sky. And I remember that he loves his friend he was always posting about Cusco and how much he loved Cusco. The Machu Picchu. Like you, eh? Maybe one day I can make a studio there and eh? invite everybody here. Close up. Uh, let's see if I try to. I can make a close up. Just a minute. Just a minute. Where is, where is the driver? I need a driver to control the camera. Is this is another camera. I'm looking for the driver. Okay, here it is. It's gonna take just two seconds. Okay, and speaking about that, that would be amazing just to, you know. Okay. Or 
they're gonna keep it just the way it was, the way it was because kind of when I zoom in, it light up the the screen too much. I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna keep think think. When I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna just rent big place, maybe buy a big place. Who knows? And just paint there, and then I mean, you know, make classes and organize workshops there, and obviously. Okay, I don't. I don't even. I gotta think more about that. I I I don't have anything clear. But I gotta go to much. Imagine that. Um, I have to go to Machu Picchu. I haven't gone my whole li whole life. I know it's here. And just I know it's close. It's here, and I say, okay, that's enough. <laughs> And so many people from all over the world is coming to Machu Picchu and and I'm here and I haven't gone my whole life. I have to, I have to. You know? basically mixing here on the canvas I gotta think later about the temperature for example just adding white white definitely is gonna cool down any color even more if the color is cool it, it definitely is gonna cool down the color even more and Maybe I can add a little bit of yellow, tiny bit, just to add like a warm light here and light here. Maybe, maybe. Not sure yet. I'm just thinking about that. Just things that come out from just things that just pop up in my 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 head. About thinking about temperature. a little bit of shadow here shadow under the nose mm, let's go to know my eyes I think the face is okay the hand I uh, have a problem there I don't know what to do the fish it's gonna be okay at the end <laughs> About the idea, the mask, the fish, the mask. Yeah. When uh, an idea is really good, usually we don't think any anything more about if the face is okay, if the skin color is okay. Does nothing matters when you have a good idea. Okay. I would love to do to have a nice idea. I mean, right now it's kind of mm, so so yeah, a mask. I mean, maybe somebody loved that. Uh, maybe other people say, "What was that? So that's so ridiculous. That's gonna be always the same." But uh, as you're saying, what uh, what I think is just for me. What I think about, you know, you gotta be your own critique. 
critiquer and that's what I'm saying to myself okay yeah, it's kind of okay you have there a mask yeah, you kind of think like this guy is trying to just you know whatever you, you want to think about this yeah. it's just like a story like uh, the the princess and the what's the name uh, and the the princess that kissed this little animal it becomes a prince <laughs> don't remember how to say it. Uh, wait wait for me I'm gonna look for the translator Frog. Frog. Yeah. The princess and the frog. Something like that. The princess and the fish. Why not? Now, you have an idea, you gotta go on with the idea. It doesn't matter how ridiculous it looks, okay? You just need to continue. Build up on top of that. And more important, I think, for me is just uh let uh, the things just rest uh, this is not like a painting a portrait that i gotta let it rest to check out mistakes uh, i'm not gonna be concerned about mistakes about this it's more about the idea i'm gonna let it rest and then uh, my intention when i come back to the painting is to see if that there is kind of a story there or or not, or maybe just, I don't know, uh, something so that it is kind of, it do, I don't see like it has, uh, how do you say when it is something solid, is, there is not, there is not, there is not a solid story, even this, uh, even it, it maybe it could be a really simple, simple story, could be something really simple, but just depends about the elements, okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna read the comments. Uh, could be a trip of a lifetime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ernest Stevenson. Okay, thank you. You have a gift. It's an infallible instinct for color. You too. Thank you. The town below Machu Picchu is a long climb to the top. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Helicopter for me, yes. I think more and more. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is this appropriate for our time as we all use masks? Oh! Wow, oh my god! Yeah! Hey, you know, a mask. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, it's a different mask. She's kissing, kissed a frog. <laughs> the title should be Mask Up. <laughs> okay, that's good. Now to get this blue, the blue I, uh, I want, definitely I'm gonna uh, have to add some glazes and phthalo blue that would be a nice color to get this and things blue. Okay. Uh, I don't have too much space here. I'm gonna use a little bit of cerulean blue. Yep, there. Uh, 
And you know about thinking about this thing about Machu Picchu going to Cusco. Cusco, I think it says uh, you can Costco is this way to say it in English. Uh, I don't know. Sorry. Uh, uh, I have a friend. You know that she sells. She have a travel agency, and I was thinking, oh my god! I thought I have a friend that she has a travel agency agency and I think oh my god this is like could happen it could happen you know how much is a ticket from anywhere to Cusco maybe it's gonna be five hundred dollars yeah. or maybe six hundred dollars but it's not like you know going to where from here f f for example from here is really expensive expensive to go to China, for example, I think it's a three thousand dollars ticket. You know, because it's obviously so far. And yeah, there would be something like paint and travel and. Okay, just a second. I gotta think about this painting. Okay, I love this. I think I gotta go darker here just to create more contrast. You know, it's like the black here that's gonna be what communicate these two guys here. And I gotta work on the hand. And let's see what I do with the hand. I'm thinking about maybe uh, break up the hand in so many pieces here. And just let them flow on the air. Mm. 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 Thank you. Oh, Mary saying, fish, I'm a human. See my face. Upset me for what I am. Oh, wow, that's okay. That's really poetic, Mary. <laughs> Dear, I need a good friend. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, uh, uh. okay, Mary saying. It takes into account all values like the gray scales, monochromatic, the upper part of the fish is mon monochromatic, then they introduce the red hue. Oh yes, yes, uh, explain about that. Uh, this thing about values is important to establish a focal point. You know, a focal point could be light, a highlight, or a focal, a focal point could be a dark area, okay? It's not just about highlight, but imagine, imagine a, a scene on the theater and the light hitting an actor that's gonna be a focal point now imagine somebody uh, on a white room really white room and is dressed with dark cloth okay that's gonna be a focal point but that's a dark focal point and the other is a light focal point it, you know the focal point could be a highlight or could be some, something dark it depends it's about contrast Now in this case, obviously, it's easy to see where it's light, 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 and all of this, that's going to be just, I can add elements here, I can add a lot of elements here, but no one should be brighter than these two, because that's the one, that's, uh, this is where the story is happening, the rest is just like, a, I don't know how, how to put that, but, to complement the story. That's okay to see. That's yeah. I think that's, that's okay. I want to work on the hand a little bit.
establish, establishing some colors on the fingers. Oh, Monique is saying 70, 700 from Boston to Costco, from Boston. Wow, 50 hour flight. Oh, that's too much. Hey, let's cancel everything. <laughs> Uh, Mary saying, what is value, how light, dark, and color percent? Yeah, a value is, is, is that, uh, is that is it, uh, a value scale, not like this value scale. And if, let's say that everything is darker, the, the uh, focal point, speaking about value scale, it should be in some area, it should be lighter. If the painting is lighter, the focal point maybe could be darker or colorful. attention here okay. then let's add some green some light here on the fingers, same color that I have here. Just a bug. more light okay we'll read some comments Back. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, definitely I need more blue here or more intense blue and more contrast this is almost black but we don't, we don't see I don't see like black on the camera let me just my camera again you know this thing about the 
camera it change it keep changing the okay look how it change how bright be like that it's just like that okay let's think again I need <coughs> more shadow or it's okay yeah, I think it's okay you know the, mm, like a high high contrast maybe that's not okay black here or just brown uh, about the colors of here uh, you know I'm using the image that is below the fish that to I want to copy those colors okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a little bit of Alisa and Crimson Okay. Another thing that I'm thinking maybe this is too symmetrical. You're gonna uh, I should break that. I mean that's the the shape of the the fish, but for a painting maybe it's just uh are you always gonna see something like that? I'm afraid always that that got too much the attention because it's something pretty symmetrical. Okay, maybe I just need to kind of let's say blend this and here make it a little bit sharper here too and blend kind of lost some edges yeah what about the fish that is down here I keep it and not keep it looks like it's trapped between her arms okay maybe it's, it's not a good idea to keep it here okay, maybe it could be swimming here yeah. I don't know. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue working on details on the hand, and then I'm gonna think about that. Okay. Okay. Let me let me think. Let me think. Okay. Yep. Okay, let's work on the hand. Okay, I gotta just uh, you know when we paint, we can just when we try to uh, let's say uh, get an idea. You can spend maybe an hour just staring at your painting without doing anything. Okay, I cannot do that here, and I gotta just paint and continue thinking and painting at the same time. But definitely, it's better if we have more time to analyze and okay but anyway it's in, in any way to do it is okay yeah uh, I'm gonna add more light to the hand okay let's see it's like the light is coming from there from the right to left And I can see some uh, some fingers. I'm casting some shadow over the other hand. bright enough yeah, I'm gonna just blend a little bit this okay I need to darken up the background a little bit I have just black and ultramarine blue. Mm-mm. 
Here, the other fish here, and um, okay, I need to step back. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. This, uh, I like that this kind of softness here. If I darken up the background more, I'm gonna create more contrast. Obviously, that's gonna just help to see more clearly the the fish, the mask, and the face. Uh, but I doesn't mean that it's gonna be better for the painting, for the mood of the painting. I think this kind of softness is better. Now, what about this little fish here? This guy is kind of maybe just blocking something here. Is creating some kind of kind of confusion here. Uh, I like it, his presence here, but I'm gonna raise it for a little while and let's see. I need more here. I'm gonna use just uh, umber. Okay, I can. Uh, yeah. Definitely, some brushes like this uh, make the hair fly like this. Uh, definitely, that's a simple way to create some movement. Okay. It's the same like this. The, this creates some movement, some rhythm. Okay, and this kind of this could be okay, could work. Okay, let me see. The light is coming from the right. Go with the hand. Yeah, I like it. Maybe speaking about the idea, maybe that's enough just to have this little fish with a mask. You know, I thought for a moment about uh, kind of dissolve the hand here on the air, like like split the hand in small little pieces. Okay. Uh, just like uh, imagine like something like like this. Yes. I saw uh, this movie. Uh, what's the name of it? A movie that where is a uh, there is a woman. I don't remember the name, but at the end, this woman just her face just broke up like uh, it was something that really like a, like an egg. When you break an egg, you know, and this really really thin. Something like imagine that it's broken and the pieces are, are flying. Little pieces are flying. Okay, now, maybe that distracts too much from this. Okay. Maybe it's a good compliment. Now I have the hair here. If I do this little pieces, definitely maybe I, I shouldn't paint the hair. Because already the hair is kind of 
taking part of on, on the this conversation here you know if I get rid of the hair I can make these pieces I could have the face the fish and these little pieces flying like she's just breaking apart you know she's so fragile that she's breaking apart yeah. now it's, it's just like that when you go in uh, something creative it's a lot of back and go back and forth uh, it's inevitable you gotta think an idea I did something like that maybe you're gonna like it maybe you don't gonna like it maybe you think it's gonna be okay today and tomorrow you say oh what was that you gotta think about composition okay you gotta think about that not all the creative idea you have are gonna work on one painting and maybe it's too much for just one one painting and and a any little idea doesn't help to the story you're gonna have a problem there and uh, that's okay you know at the end uh, th what counts is at the end because in the process is going to be just like that uh, so many things i can just imagine uh what's the name of this snare little snare here yeah. any any crazy idea could be or even uh maybe water here since the fish is on the air yeah Okay, I can put water here. Yeah. Why not? Maybe it could work. And I can just place the reflection of the fish here. That's gonna add something. So try to think. I mean, maybe you don't need to do anything more. Sometimes we feel that we need to add more, more and more. Okay. Uh, you know. Yeah, I. But to be honest, uh, now that I, I imagine the water here, with the reflection, I, it feels like this closing this space too much. It's just like it's too compressed. Yeah. Okay. I have to leave it there to think because I'm not so sure yet. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you know what? I feel that uh, it's better just to keep this just like a free space where the fish can fly free freely. Yeah, and even I'm gonna I'm planning to paint all this and this is gonna be just the same color of this which is gonna give a lot of space to the fish uh, that's nice that's that's pretty good you know that's kind of I think that helps to the idea that this fish is flying freely yep Now I did paint once a woman just breaking like this, and uh, I can I can just use the same idea again. Uh, for example, I did uh, I create like a mm, okay. Let me do it. I mean, let's say that this is a small area where she's breaking up in so many pieces. We don't see anything here. And this piece is flying here. Okay. Now, uh, that painting, what I did is, uh, it was a broken glass, a glass, broken glass that was just broken. Pieces of glass that were everywhere. And I remember that because a glass just broke up in my. Uh, broke up in my house and I said okay I'm gonna take a picture of that glass let's see if I can use it and then all the pieces of the glass I start just uh, changing the pieces into petals petals from a, a rose 
like the rose petals okay and I can use that again yeah, you know maybe not so sure but just uh, maybe maybe I gotta think a little bit more This space is here, the, the piece in that area. No, there's not, not nothing original about this. I have seen this so many times, so many on other paintings. Okay, it doesn't mean that you can use, you cannot use it. You can use anything you want. It depends how you use them. Okay, it just it depends if that works or not. Yeah. Now another problem that I used to face that. It's because sometimes I want to put so many things is that I'm afraid that my painting could end up looking for more like as an illustration than a painting okay now I'm just sharing with you my thoughts it doesn't mean that it looks like that I'm just I'm afraid of that okay and I don't know. I I don't even I don't even know where it could start looking as an illustration, and where it's gonna stop looking as a painting. Okay, and yeah, that's 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 the point about uh, I think maybe about any painting that any about this surrealistic style, about surrealism. That's 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 the thing that it could end up looking as an as an illustration and. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, maybe it I don't even have a word about that because that could happen. I, I think as as, as far as uh, I mean, if you love your painting, just go ahead with your painting. It, it's just that. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. And just continue just try to control maybe not exaggerate one thing or the other for example right now I'm thinking okay maybe it could be a good idea just to erase this one uh, this thing I'm doing right now is something that I'm not so sure about because now I'm thinking that this it could make my painting look looks like an illustration the, without this, it's gonna look maybe just like a story. Like it's, it could be kind of from a child book, yeah, like like we were speaking about the princess and the frog, something like that. Yeah, but I think it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful, but this just this little touch maybe. Yeah so difficult to say maybe it could help my painting or maybe it could you know maybe it could make it better okay I'm gonna continue painting I'm gonna just um, blend a little bit
gonna soft this edge a little bit I love that this edge is pretty sharp but even a sharp edge in painting it should be a little bit uh, soft Even the sharpest char the sharpest edge on your painting should be a little bit soft. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm drowning here. <laughs> Back. Oh, okay. Stepping back, just thinking about the position, thinking about my focal point, thinking about the color, edges, obviously on, on the portrait, thinking about proportions. Then I think I have to reduce here a little bit of the chain. The other arm is somewhere on the right. It should be like here. And this one is here. Okay, I'm just drawing this, but I'm not going to keep... Um, I think I'm going to just blur this arm a lot. Just a bit kind of lost. Hello, Maggie. Maggie, uh, Margaret. Margaret is saying maybe paint something about plastic in the ocean sometime. That's a real problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Barbara. Hello, Gomez. 
Okay, let's work on the tears on the face. I'm going to work on details. Uh, maybe I'm going to erase this on the hand. Not so sure about that. Yeah, anyway, I have to put more work on the details of the face. a bit more red to the nose Another tiny brush. Okay, I have, I have one here. I remember one exercise for creativity. It was uh, okay, I'm gonna try to explain to you. To you or you take, let's say, you make four squares on a piece of paper. Okay, the uh, you pick up a realistic uh, image, a photograph, any photograph. Obviously, any photograph is realistic. Eh? A photograph. Let's say, uh, let's say this face. In the first square, you draw the face as accurate as possible. Okay. On the second square, you make a variation, like, uh, for example, how can I, it could be something like, imagine that you're, uh, you're Picasso, and you change the face to kind of you see the f picture through the Picasso's eyes like cubism yep and that means that you want to create a distortion of the picture 
and in the third square you make something like uh, what do I put the painter oh, okay uh, I don't remember any name right now and but you, the 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 thing is uh, step by step you distort the image more and more okay. that's, the, that's the exercise at the end the the, the, the square number four you should have ba basically an abstract interpretation you can make maybe five squares to draw and yeah. um, the idea repeat repeat that and get used to the idea to kind of break down something to build up another to break, uh, build up an, an idea okay obviously I wasn't that good on that I love realism I love to capture a portrait I love to you know I love to copy reality I love to copy basically an important the expression the likeness anyway an exercise is an exercise and it's pretty nice to try it's pretty good you know Another exercise it was uh, making collage. I like that one. Let's pick up. At that time, uh, you know, I didn't have a, a computer. It was uh, speaking 30 years ago. We didn't even have any cell phone. And it was about just looking for uh, looking for magazines. You know, and I, I had like. I don't know how many mag I used to buy magazines just like everywhere to keep picture from here and there and use them use them to create a composition Sorry that I stopped speaking for one minute when I find something here on my painting that I gotta fix. It's just like it's just like my brain go blank and I don't think anymore. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Now I, sp I was speaking about the exercises. The last year in the School of Art, it was about that. Everything was about just being creative. I think today that it was a mistake there on the education because you put somebody to practice drawing proportions for five years, four years and then you expect that person change <laughs> that's kind of difficult I think uh, it's better if a school of art teach you both from the very beginning yeah. and this way you choose if somebody wants to choose it's not like for everybody or uh, or the other option is obviously separate things like you know this school of art is just for realism that's it the other school is just for what modern art uh, this way you know where where you're going and what you expect
Thank you, Elba. Monique is saying me too, I have hundreds of art magazines. Okay. <laughs> yeah, at that time without a cell phone, without a computer, everything was about my business. I'm trying to remember exercises because it was it was so many things. Uh, and that last year, or maybe a year before, I remember we had color theory, but it was different. It was about compositions. It was about being creative and just color, you know, to kind of uh, put the mood to the painting, and then obviously the image. Uh, with the image is a compliment. Don't remember too much next time. Changing from brush to brush for shadow light, shadow light. Um, Mary saying, brain so your artistic, artistic intuition is so powerful you see, in, on your, in your images. I'm not sure that can be learned to your degree. I think we only improve what was given. Okay. Uh, I agree to disagree. <laughs> uh, maybe, who knows? You know that I think that in painting is like everything is about practice. Uh, and, and knowledge about color theory, perspective, all of those things that uh, we have to, we need to try to master that and to the point obviously that create a muscle memory about a lot of, about a lot of those uh, things and and try to be aware that we use them, try to be aware that we need to knock down the color, we need to saturate the color, we need to soften an edge, sharpen an edge. Uh, the, uh, the, the more difficult part of this is color harmony. Color harmony, that's going to be always something difficult. I mean, th I don't think that any painter at, at any level is able to manage color theory to the point that create a mass of memory about that. This, I mean, we gotta be really aware of every time that we are just laying down a color uh, and establishing the value aspect. You know, color and value are together. There's no way to. Every time that you think about color, you gotta think about the darker and lighter areas on the painting. It's not just about that. that hey, I'm gonna add something red. No, I mean, how dark is gonna be the red? How light is gonna be? If you have two elements, how dark is going to be one of them, or, you know, uh, th th and uh, speaking about little changes, because we can copy just the, the, the what we have in front of us, yeah, but sometimes, so many times we need to make some changes, that's when this knowledge is so, so helpful. Mm -hmm. Just practice. Okay, 
let me see, I'm squinting down my eyes, I see light. I think I have to darken up this area a little bit. A little bit. Mm. Oh, I remember another exercise when I was uh, about theory and creativity. It was about using different materials. That was kind of simple, you know, but I remember the, the one one painting that I loved that much. It was one that I, I did using sand. I kind of add a lot, of, I stick sand to my canvas, a lot of sand. And I just paint on top of that. And the effect is really nice. The effect is just that texture. It was so 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 good for me. And I remember that because I used to paint on a really soft canvas always. I sent my canvases so good to to keep them really soft. And when I tried that, it was like uh, discovering them something new. You know, wow, there was something like. Uh, some texture that it gives some power to, to the painting, some personality. It wasn't that soft anymore. That thickness, that texture was something that, I, I, I don't know, for me it was just like uh, really, really, really like uh, speaking, uh, I don't know how to explain, sorry. <laughs> Can I read the comments? Okay, thank you, Elba. Oh. Okay, thank you, Mary. Elona Hip. This area is pretty difficult to, to know the values. I need to screen down my eyes. Uh, the very option that now that we have technology is just pick up the image and create a darker version. Really dark, dark, dark version. And then we get, we're going to be able to see the values. And that's what we're trying to do every time that we screen down our eyes, but I gotta say that that's not enough. And remember, always use a mirror. Always use a mirror and always... Uh, you can use a black mirror too. You can use your cell phone as a black mirror. Okay, let's add more light here and light here. We gotta create a roughness in this area, okay? This is something like this, it's turning. If I don't create this delusion that this is turning, I'm going to end up with a flat forehead. area because of the cheekbone, the psychomatic bone, we have light here and light here. Okay, if the light is coming from up and from the right, it's hitting the face, I'm squinting down my eyes and I, uh, definitely, usually, the usually, let's say, not always, the nose is going to be brighter. 
and this is going to lose the strength and here's the same it's not going to be that bright maybe the light is going to spread just here and that's it Okay, use the logic of painting a sphere. That's why you see, like in every course, every course there is always uh, a chapter for painting a sphere. It's to understand how the light just flies on, on an object, how it hits an object, and how it spread spreads on the surface. And that's why we always paint the spheres. The other object that uh, we paint is a, a box. A box is to understand how there is that the, how represent the three dimensionality on the space. because the box show you, you know, one side, left side, right, top, bottom. brush is just dying I think that's okay Step back. Okay, okay. Looks like everything is okay. Mm. I have some problems here. I think it's about the shadows on the face. I'm gonna pick up this color and uh, yeah, I need to make this darker. Thank you. 
okay with the face I got the volume pretty close I was making light shadow you know trying to light this light is brighter than this uh, maybe the brightest light is not is here I'm gonna put more more okay. A touch of yellow okay touch of light blue so a highlight on the nose okay this highlight works really good work on the little face Stepping back, uh, okay, okay, looks like everything is okay. Um, okay. Hello, Nahid, hello, Tipu, thank you, hello, Mister. Uh, hello, Diana, tight. Uh, let's continue with the fingers. Maybe I should erase this finger. It doesn't look okay on the photograph. It's not gonna look okay on the painting. Sometimes I do that when I see that something is, it kind of looks kind of weird on the photograph. I prefer just to skip on that. Usually that's, that's difficult to, you know, to make it to make it look natural on the painting where the photograph looks weird. For for example, when you you will paint or we draw some foreshortening, you know, I have draw so many foreshortenings views uh, as a student but as a painter uh, you know I keep I, I try to skip on them because they're s I just I don't know but for me it was like spend a lot of time trying to get a natural look for a short foreshortening view on a human body and the human body is just so difficult
Maybe more raid to the shadows. the bug <coughs> hello in the sir he looked mark 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 farland hello cosimo Maybe I can add something on the hair since uh, we're painting a fish. Yeah, it could be another fish just here between the hair. Yeah, yeah that, that could work. Yeah, that could work. See, let's work a little bit on the fish. Okay, no, no, I, I, I'm gonna spend more time on the hand. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna spend more time on the hand. Uh, and then I'm gonna get distracted, and the hand is very difficult to. I better put more time. Nobody wants to paint hands and foot and feet. Foot, feet? I don't know which one was the blue one, foot or feet. Feet is plural. Thank you, Barbara.
Okay. Uh, let's think about the fish again here, the color in the background. Mm, I think I like it, but I can add. I'm thinking about some adding some glazes. Some maybe ultramarine blue. Mm. Some ultramarine blue gla in, so a glaze of ultramarine blue on the face on the background definitely is gonna help to just make the skin more orangey. Yeah, what about this uh, this area here? Hmm. Do I need to add more light there? Okay, now another thing that I'm thinking about is the the temperature. Okay, I can exaggerate a little bit the temperature. Make the lights a little bit yellowish. I can do that with a glaze too, with some glazes. Obviously, when you paint a la prima, you gotta think different, different than when you paint in, in so many sessions. When you plan to paint so many sessions, there are so many things that I see that, and I, I think, hey, I'm gonna correct that on the next session. I wanna change that with a glaze. I wanna change the color with a glaze. That's uh, how I keep thinking. When we paint a portrait of La Prima that you have seen so many on my channel, it's, it's different. You know, we gotta paint that. We gotta think that how to finish up the painting. Yes, in that session, in one session. <clears throat> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I think I have enough light here. I love the color. Oh wow, I think I painted this finger too big. Yeah. <laughs> I have to reduce that. To narrow that finger. Yeah. Well, I was thinking... Okay, I was thinking about how the light is going from bright here and it's going like not, not as bright here and here, okay? And I was thinking about maybe at the same highlights on the hand. Uh, I need more light because I think I'm not able to represent the, the thickness, the volume of the hand. Okay, maybe I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna add 
more lights here on the hand yeah that's one step okay and then uh, maybe I'm gonna need to add more highlights on the face too uh. mm, okay I'm gonna continue let's see Let's see, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying what I'm going to do, I'm just saying what, I, what I'm thinking, uh, uh, but I gotta, I gotta just paint and see, and uh, when, after painting, I'm gonna see if that's okay, if that's working, or if I have to add more highlights on the face. I'm working on the hand and speaking about the face because it's always the relationship you know it's not just about just the hands it's not just about just the face it's not just about just the fish okay speaking about the fish I'm gonna pick up some pure white I'm gonna put it here I'm planning to let this pure white let it dry like thick and and on top of that I can add a, a glaze of light blue or a yellow glaze or a pretty pretty transparent yellow glaze okay why a yellow glaze uh, obviously the fish is blue you know and I'm looking for contrast and thinking okay blue fish a highlight orangey a really light orangey highlight is gonna glow on a blue fish okay I'm thinking about that about contrast and I say okay maybe I'm gonna just add this I'm gonna let it dry and I'm going to add a glaze really really transparent transparent glaze if that's if, if that's no work if that doesn't work i just i can seeing i'm gonna I'm planning to paint over dry paint that's gonna be just e so easy to to clean out okay i'm just sharing with you what i'm planning to do because sadly you're not gonna be able to see it because it's gonna be just in my Patreon account. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't even know. I, mean, I should put it in my Patreon account, yet, but I don't even know if I, if I, gonna be able to record the next steps. But I should, I should, I should. Yeah, I have to make a commitment about recording it and put it just in Patreon for my patrons. Yeah. The problem with uh, the next steps is next steps are just like one day, ten minutes, the other day, an hour, the other day, twenty minutes, the other day, an hour, and uh, kind of difficult to to plan ahead how much time I'm gonna spend on the painting, and I have like some paintings that I have started like a year ago and I don't continue them they are just there waiting and I don't like them anymore and they say okay I'm gonna just start a new one and I don't know if that's gonna happen with this one maybe it's gonna be like this stage for the next five years yeah. no. I mean that's normal, you know. I'm pretty sure that so many of you have painted that have studied a long time ago, and you got stuck with them. You know what is to do. That's normal when we paint.
is it? Four. Oh, it's okay. We have class today. I have class today at six p.m. Central Time. We're gonna paint today for uh, like four or five hours at night. There is one free spot. I mean, th there is no no free that. I mean, free that <laughs> there is one spot, but it's no free. So there is the link in there in the description box to my Patreon account. If you wanna paint along with me, Tuesdays we paint like a. Uh, Longer process, like, like, let's say that a more complex painting, they're gonna take take us maybe one two sessions, and Sundays we paint a la prima for four to five hours every Sunday. There is just one free spot, one spot there for Tuesdays. If somebody joined Tuesdays, I mean, you can be paint obviously Tuesdays and Sundays and Saturdays. Okay, that's better, but something is not okay about the hands, and I need to I need, I need to put more time on the hands. Okay, and always softening edges. Always, always soften the edges. Okay, I'm gonna read the comments. Uh, a suggestion, okay. Cut the earth into two equal parts. Put the earth. Oh, okay, that's <laughs> that idea. That didn't get. My suggestion was to brighten the forward arm. Okay, this one. Yeah, yeah. It's very bright. Maybe the brightest part. The fish is too bright. I like it, but the value put is in the forwardmost plane. Maybe. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, I okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like this is closer to us than the than the arm. Now that you say that, I'm seeing that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. The idea is that the fish and the face are the same plane. Obviously, the hand is gonna be a little bit closer to us. Yeah, and in order to represent that, I should be li light up this like you suggest, Mary. Yeah. At the same time, if I light up this, it's like an open up the composition. And I'm trying to keep in some kind of mist around. Just to concentrate everything in the middle. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mary, for the suggestion. Yeah, I wanna think about that definitely. Yeah. Edward Eric. He's saying, "What the hell is this?" Oh wow! Oh wow! We have we, we have a hater here. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Painting. thinking about what you said Mary and just thinking about that okay yeah maybe that's gonna be something that I'm going to to apply or not I don't know but definitely that's gonna be for my next session okay okay um, 
I need to soften edges, continue softening edges. This finger is a thing that mm. okay. Thank you, Intesar Hussain. Mary is a uh, Okay, thank you, Mary. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I was saying that one available available spot in my Patreon account for Tuesdays and Sundays. Yeah, thank you, thank you. this little finger here maybe I'm just gonna ignore it and I would like to erase this one this one is gonna is going to bring me some bring me some problems trying to represent some broken like she's so fragile that fragile that she's broken apart Let's think about these little pieces. Uh, they are working or not. I'm gonna soften the edge here, clean the brush. Soften the edge here, clean the brush. And I sharpen the edge here. You know, this is soft, soft, and this is sharp. Uh, what I'm trying to do is making this uh, illusion that this is coming forward uh, is floating floating on the air
Okay, Mary. See you tonight. Tessar Hussein say my air speed improving very much. Okay, that's good, Tessar. Face, face, the hand, everything is soft, here, soft, soft. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah. Now, let's work on the fish. I need some light blue. Because there is a lot of light here. Okay, uh, I'm thinking right now, the light is coming from the right to the left. Now obviously the fish is getting some different light, like from the left. Okay, let's say that... Mm, let's say that we need, I think I need to change that. Uh, if the light is coming from the right, maybe it's going to be logic to have this in shadow and have some light just in the edge. Keep it just the same. I don't know if exactly. Yeah. It's not gonna follow a logic light. Obviously, like the light, uh, yeah. it's gonna be like having one light from the left and one light from the right. Two lights hitting in the front. Uh, two objects having each one its own light. Its own light source light. Cleaning the, uh, this because I have to paint on this area, and I'm gonna continue working this painting from different palette. I love to have the palette just next to my painting, this makes everything so easy. By saying Sunday is slow taken, or oh, on the bill, it's a Tuesday is slow. Uh, uh, if you take the Tuesday is slow slot, uh, you're gonna be able to attend both Tuesday and Sunday. And drawing, I mean, drawing on Thursday and painting on Saturday too. It's the same. I mean. the same I mean you pay just a hundred dollars and you have access to live paint and learn lessons Tuesdays for four hours four to five hours and Sundays for four to five hours
Oops. I don't know what. to add more volume to the mask because the mask is just too flat it's to get some shadows there or to show some portion of the to feel that it's not flat uh, about these little pieces I like them I could maybe sh I should add more Tired. It's been three hours. Mm. I'll make it this more bluish. Uh, but you know, I uh, kind of I love this kind of mist effect. One thing I added too much of this reflected light here. Okay, I need to paint a shadow of the the mask is casting a shadow on the face on the fish face. I'm softening a little bit here, okay? A little bit here. I'm keeping sharp on the nose. It's too tiny. Let's see. Okay, this finger, I don't like the finger. Mm. I don't like the finger, I don't like the nail.
add more reddish color red with orange just more intense I'm gonna put it here on the shadow okay, just as an accent just to create some transparency here uh, I'm gonna do the same with the fingers but I'm gonna do that with some glazes <clears throat> Let me see. I'm gonna pick up some pure cerulean blue and cerulean blue and cover blue. enough yeah I think I think so okay I think it doesn't gonna be okay just with cerulean blue I mean for to get this intensity I have to let the painting dry In this way cerulean blue uh, it's not gonna get mixed with the painting It's been two, uh, three hours. I'm just gonna let the painting dry. Uh, yeah, no. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna soften. I'm gonna soften the hair a little bit. And at the same time, I'm thinking to add something to the hair. I don't know what, but something. This brush here is a Peruvian brush. Maybe that's the softest, softest, softest brush that I have ever tried in my life. Kind of expensive here. I don't buy them so often, and but I keep them basically for clean out my drawing. So really, really amazing. Yeah. Really, really amazing.
Okay, I think that's it for today. I'm gonna be dry and continue. And I'm gonna keep the second part just for my patrons. Say something I forgot. Okay, I'm gonna soften the hands and things. Killing some edges. Okay, uh, let me think. Yeah, you know what I think? That I need something blue here. That's what I'm thinking about adding something to the hair. It's just for harmony just the color the color is concentrated here another color here and the color in the middle kind of harmonize with everything but I don't think that's enough I think I, I should add something blue maybe it's another fish I don't know something but there or just maybe at blue just like a color there just with the hair yeah maybe a blue hair yeah blue hair in this area here just blue yeah yeah oh wow that would be yes it would be kind of an, uh, a nice analogy you know this is the tail of the fish and for her it's the same it's like she's what half a fish half fish half few human now le let's see a uh, little by little because i don't want a lot of blue on the painting either okay and let's see yes i think yeah, I think I, I gotta leave the, just leave this for the glazes. Now imagine the same that you see here in a small proportion in this area. And the hair becoming this. In the same shape. Okay, that would be, I think that would be a, ni a nice touch. Even now, this blue, I like it. The harmony. I still feel that I need one more color, but it's not like we need to add a lot of color, okay? I love the color of the background because it's, it's, it's pretty a neutral color, it's pretty mute and kind of, I think it's, it's pretty good for to keep the attention just here it's just like a, a background that is not participating at all on on the story here and th that's, that's, that's really good I think that's really good Okay, that's it for today. Hmm. Oh. Mervat is suggesting I think a darker background would be perfect. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty sure that it could work with a darker background too. That's gonna create more contrast in the face and the fish and definitely a darker background is gonna make the face, the hand and the and the uh, the fish glow more like by contrast, you know exactly what you see in the image down here you see that black how it makes the blue if I add black here that's what I'm gonna create the same effect yeah uh, definitely definitely yeah I just I don't want that I don't I, I, I want I kind of want this softness here okay, I, want, I want this just that I think add something to to kind of just watch the painting I don't feel that the color is hitting back at you don't feel that the contrast it just feels that you can I can watch you can watch the painting for uh, I don't know for a long time 
I would like to think about that just to watch the painting and I'm gonna be able to rest rest my eyes just watching the painting you know because there are paintings that would be so colorful or with a high contrast that maybe we cannot stir too much time in those paintings uh, I'm just trying to say that I love this harmony <laughs> just that okay thank you so much everybody for being here okay uh, okay Monique see you see you tonight Turn it on. Okay. I'll change my glasses. See the screen. See better. See better. And maybe my painting is darker now. It, what happened is I turned turn off some some lights. Okay, here I am. Okay. Thank you for being here. See you next time. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. Okay, but you know that uh, I try to go live like at least twice a week, once a week. You don't see me live, it's on, it means I'm, I'm just busy. <laughs> but definitely you're gonna see me live like at least twice a week. Okay. Bye everybody, take care you all, thank you for being here.